I'm Anna Grace Taylor and welcome to your weekly angel reading for December 4th through to the 10th. I'm going to be using the Angel Wisdom Tarot Cards by Radley Valentine, so let's see what the guidance is, first of all, for Monday and Tuesday. Okay, oh, we had this card a couple of weeks ago, so a repeating message here, the Four of Earth, managing your resources wisely, extremes in how you give or receive money, time or emotions, smart business decisions, seeing things as black or white and being charitable. So what better time than the festive season to watch where you put your time and energy to prioritize what and who is important to you to remember that it's okay to say no that you are not superhuman and that you don't have to do a hundred million things it's okay to prioritize um, and this is a really beautiful card about boundaries remembering that having healthy boundaries actually gives you healthier relationships Okay, so a beautiful reminder to just really be mindful of where you spend your time and energy right now. Ah, and the perfect Archangel to help us do that. This is Archangel Michael with the Ego card. The illusion of being trapped, accept responsibility for your situation, and then make choices that support your path to happiness, addictions, or unhealthy habits. So, you know what, we often think of addictions as perhaps alcohol or cigarettes or substances, but addictions can also be behaviours and patterns that we find ourselves in. And one of the major ones, I don't know about you, uh, that I've also had to work through is people pleasing. And so Archangel Michael really reminds us that we are the only person that we can do anything about ultimately, and that we get to take responsibility if we're feeling drained or resentful, exhausted uh, with what we do about that. And that we get to say, okay, that doesn't work for me. I'm doing things differently now. And he will help you to stand in your truth and also to cut the cords and the ties that bind you. So definitely call on him and remember that you do have choices right now, even if it doesn't feel like it. Okay, oh, beautiful card, the nine of earth. This is a beautiful uh, journey that we're on this week. Again, she is enjoying the fruits of your labors, hard work that has led to a luxurious life, buying yourself something special, happily and successfully self-employed and enjoying your solitude. So goodness, this is a reminder that if you can be courageous, in standing in your truth, in saying, no, I don't want to do that. No, actually, that doesn't work for me. No, actually, I'm not going to play the people-pleasing game. That you will find your own sense of self and happiness is absolutely possible. Maybe not overnight, maybe not in a week, but it is a journey. It feels like some of you are really needing to kind of step over that threshold this week into that uncomfortable zone so that you can actually feel a lot more contented. Um, this can also be a reminder of success in uh, having your own business and doing your own creative projects. So really focusing at the end of the week on yourself if you can actually make some changes during the rest of the week that might feel challenging to start with, but are really ultimately the best for all, okay? Beautiful, beautiful energy this week. Love that. And very timely with the festive season. I know it's difficult, but it's even more important these days, isn't it, when our time is so precious. Okay, so this is my book, Messages of Grace, 111 Notes of Love and Guidance from Your Angels. And the message is, ah, oh, there we go, 85 changes. Do not be afraid of change, dear one. Change is constant, which means uncertainty is too. Embrace the ebb and flow, the twists and turns, the delays and the sudden momentum. Expect the unexpected. Stay open to the mystery. Often the changes that make no sense at the time are answers to your prayers. You are ever changing, ever growing, ever moving on your beautiful journey and we are ever present. 
where, wherever you are, so are we. We love you, your angels. So yes, don't be afraid of making those changes. It is time. If you would like to feel more supported, don't forget you can always contact me at Anna Grace Taylor to book your one hour or 30 minute uh, angel reading. I actually don't have very much space for the rest of the month because I'm doing year readings for my Angel Academy members and the members of my mailing list. Uh, which is always beautiful. Um, But don't forget also you can check out my podcast, Love and a Cup of Tea, with some beautiful guests on it. Uh, This week we have my dear friend, Junie Pooney, who I met on Instagram. She is a stylist, um, an events planner, a wedding planner, but she has such a beautiful story and that's why I connected with her. She talks to us about how the loss she's experienced has shaped her life and her business. She also talks about her relationship that she's had with her husband since she was 16 years old and what she's learned about love. She talks about why she believes that what is meant for us won't pass us by. So check that out on the link below. And we have a very, very special guest coming up for you uh, on Wednesday. It's my last guest of the season and probably one of the most profound conversations I've ever had. So check out that on Wednesday too. So much love to you all. I'll be back on my Facebook and Instagram for the Daily Angel Messages. In the meantime, I'm sending you lots and lots of love and asking the angels to give you some courage to help you to create those healthy boundaries, to make positive changes that really benefit you all. Bye-bye.